so many youth pastors don't have that model of manhood in their parents. They would look at their dads and say, I don't, I don't have a father who showed me what it, right. it meant to be a dad. Right. Right. Um, I think you and I have said before, there is an example of a father that we know of who's right. pretty good yep. at right. being a father. That's that's our father. That's heaven. right. He, yeah. he shows us what it's like. Yeah. And then he decided to become a man. That's right. So that's a good example. I, I certainly understand that is an insult to a young man's life. It, there's no way around that. It is. Yeah. But it's not one. When Jesus said in John 16, 33, I say this so that you'll have peace. In this world, you will face tribulation. Your tribulation may be, I didn't have a positive male role model. But don't forget this. He said, but always have peace in your heart, have joy in your heart because I've overcome the world. So Jesus has even overcome your lack of a male role model in your life by becoming that uh, that male role model in your life. And I would say too, there are men in your church and men Mm -hmm. in your community who are modeling what it means to be um, a faithful, passionate follower of Jesus Christ. We see it all throughout Scripture, a younger man attaching himself to an older man in that mentor relationship, all throughout Scripture, Old Testament and New Testament. And I would just strongly encourage you to find one of those men in your church or in your community who models a faith, a vibrant faith, a dynamic faith, and and just reach out to him and say, listen, here's my situation. I I, I didn't have anybody modeling this for me. Could we we begin a discipling relationship? And I tell you, in your situation, my situation, I'm not going to refuse somebody if no. They come to me with that request. I just had it happen in my life, and, and I guess the big shock to me was that I've gotten so old that a young man would ask me that. <laughs> yeah. But but in the moment, you know, I saw in his face, he said, look, I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Yeah. Would you mentor me? And and it was a guy he didn't, you know, he's, yeah. he, I realized that that took a lot for him yeah. to do that. So have the courage to ask some of these men in your church. They're a great resource for you if you didn't have that in your own home.